So like I said, man, this is Mr. Africanity. This was just the first of many. I got many, many, many different types of photos. Hold on, let me show you something real quick. So just in case y'all are not worried about me, I've got articles here reading up on the property and the developments that are happening in right here. Look, this is about the Fuma town, the one I was showing you, right? Uh, you know, definitely this is the banking information to transfer and wire the money to the banks that are going to pay for the developers right here. You know, shout outs to my African, African owned and, 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 you know, incorporated, you know, uh, lawyer firm right here who's handling my paperwork. Here we go. Skyview Gardens right here. Bam, that's one. The Soul. This is the property I invested in Tanzania by kite surfing. One bedroom apartment. Uh, Fuma Town. Fuma Town right here. Another one, Pearl Marina, the one I was telling you about, Uganda, etc. Rivera Residence. Escada. This right here is in Nairobi. Payment plan right here. This is another for another project in one area. The Sydney. The Orchid in the, in the Taisha residence, uh, 16 million. So that's 160,000, 20% on deposit. Watch this. Now watch this, people. 20% on deposit. That's 30,000. During the construction, you pay another 80,000. And then after construction, post construction, you're paying another 50,000. So that's rent to own, but necessarily that's just you paying off the rest of the property. Now by that time, that $50,000, you could put another person in that property. You don't have to stay in that property. You put another person in that property and they pay off the 50000 So for a three-bedroom apartment in one of the most high income and wealthy areas in Kenya, you're paying almost eleven. dollars yeah, $100,000, 110000 That's it. That's it. And then the other person's paying out of 50 for a three-bedroom apartment. And that's pretty low and that's a good price. That's from Delta Delta Properties, eight year payment plan, zero interest. So unlike a bank, you paying for you paying for eight years with zero interest. This was another one. It was called the Le Mac, but that was already constructed, so they was trying to get me. This is land, two acres for fifty thousand right? dollars. Showroom, century, so, whatever you know. I can't speak. That's the one. I this is Can the I one that the I got. Again? The one I was just showing you. Another Fuma Town. Uh, let's see. Here we go. River bank apartments and two rivers. So th this is mainly what I'm going to place. Ah, Inaki. This was one that I was going to get. They have all the information here. They can send you the information via website. Riverside Square was another one in Riverside. That's also a nice area. And who is this person? Ah, this is another sales agent. Shout out to my homie that was selling some property. So there's a lot of opportunity out here for you. As you can see, look at this. Look at all this. I've been collecting this, not for fun, but to see where I was going to put my money up. So like I said, there's a lot of opportunity for you here in Africa. It's definitely a market that you can get into from the low to the high end. And you can make those payments from eight to up to eight years. I've seen just today, I've seen another post for 12. I'm going to post all this information and the links directly to individuals, companies that are solidified, they have a track record, so you means like $20,000 or $40,000 is not enough for them to pack up and run away with your forty dollars to $20,000. So if you have any questions, the primary thing that you wanna do is go to Google. Yeah, nice. Go to Google. So type in what? What is? What is development property? What is development property? Also called real estate development. It is the process of building or developing buildings and or land in a higher use value, buying land and buying property on it, renovating and extending or improving property, converting property from one use to another type of use. So property developers, this is what they're doing. And in America, you really don't get in because one, the capital's high, you know, enough people have capital to do that in developing, quote unquote, developing countries, then you can get in. You could buy these properties. I had another deal in Paraguay for a property that cost me no more than $40,000 for a one bedroom and a two bedroom. I actually a two bedroom apartment. 
And the fifty thousand dollars I I paid portions of it, like was like I ended up paying somewhere around twenty thousand dollars on the whole thing because it was a five year payment plan and it was done in two years. So for the other three years, the people who were renting it paid off the property. I still maintained the property, and then it continues on. And then not only that, you're done. And then it wasn't it wasn't a lot of money. My payments were like somewhere around. You know, for me, it wasn't it wasn't hard to do because I bought multiple units, but you could just start with one. So this is how you invest. Now, I'm only advocating Africa. So that's why I'm showing you all these deals in Africa so you can repatriate once upon a time, have a vacation home in Zanzibar, you know, so fly to Zanzibar and go straight to the beach where your apartment is. Talk to the management teams, what they call letting out here, and they are property managers. They control, they rent out your property to make sure it's taken care of, and then, of course, they charge a fee, and that fee ranges from the first month for rent. If it's a long-term stay, if it's short-term, they take a percentage somewhere in 20 to 15, but the returns that I got in Zanzibar are projected to be 21%. 21%, 21% annually. Can you believe that? So now from a $40,000 investment or $43,000 investment over the span of paying it off in two years or two and a half years or even three, you can pick different projects that are going to take long in different phases, right? Now I end up getting back somewhere around seven, no, no, it was $12,000. So $12,000 a month. Just off an initial four thousand, just paying off the property somewhere around two to two point six years. What? Are you serious, yo? Are you serious? That's what sixty five percent occupation on a short term stay on a short term basis, and it's needed because all you have to do is do the research, and then you can see the numbers, and then this is the first time. So it's all there. So just make sure that you just research. If you got any questions, hit me up. You know. My email address is attached. You can go there. You can contact me. You already know what it is. Like, look, I'm already looking. Look what I'm looking at. You know, I'm, well, I was looking at the Umar Johnson, but mostly I was looking at something that I was going to get in Joe Heineberg in South Africa. Freehold. So you can own it. Freehold in South Africa. The straight ownership. If you're scared about leasing, then, you know, the price of the starting prices start around around 40 or 60. But it's still two years, two and a half years. And the good part with South Africa is you paying 20 percent or 30 because you're a foreigner. You're paying 30 percent and you don't pay off the remaining balance. That means the 80 percent of that 100 percent or that 70 percent of that 100 percent, 70 percent of that, whether it's forty thousand dollars, sixty thousand dollars, you're not paying that until it completes. So two years later, they're asking you for the money. And then you pay the money and then it transfers in your name and you pay the fees and the fines, which is just taxes. You know, those things usually don't go above the taxes and the closing prices that you got to pay for in America. So come on, man. Got to get serious. And this is zero interest. You just pay it later. And the money that you initially paid is going into an account that's going to collect interest. So it's going to occur interest after the two years. So it'll be a little bit more and reduce the price. Let's go, man. So Africa is the frontier. People need to be housed and they need to, you know, the most important things is food and housing. So with that being said, this property is out here. This property that you can have for yourself. Ooh, I shut the computer and forgot that. So go out here and get it, man. You know what I'm saying? So, Okay, that was like 20, 28 minutes. So let's get up out of here. I got everything in the links. I got to go do another. I got to go meet up with somebody and go see some people, you know, about some people. So it's it's Mr. Africanity live from Nairobi, Kenya, live from the property, live from the 91210 real estate African giant. Let's go. Bow.